All right, guys, today we are back with another miscellaneous myths, this time Heracles. Then I apologize for the audio issues from the last miscellaneous myths, so I really want to come back with another OSP video, and this time not screw up. <laughs> uh, this time Heracles. Everyone knows who fucking Heracles is. I'm not going to say anything here at the beginning. We're just going to dive in and see what exactly Red covers here. Uh, yeah. Well, what's the point of me doing this one? Everyone already knows Hercules. <laughs> I don't know how you can get any better than that. What the fuck? I've ne I promise you, I've never seen this video. I had no clue she was going to say that. He's basically ancient Greek Superman with a healthy dose of modern sports stardom, right? Did 12 cool Yeah things got the girl call it a day couldn't be simpler well oh no hercules oh. is a lot of things but simple is not one of them first of all hercules is the roman hero heracles is the original greek version named for the glory of hera and an ineffectual i just well i guess it's okay to use them entertain interchangeably that did i say that right i feel like i've mispronounced but i don't know um i kind of just like use them interchangeably but i guess they're Honestly, probably a difference. Uh, let's... Sexual attempt to keep her from trying to murder him. Unsurprisingly, they are pretty distinct. Second of all, remember this word? I've talked about how hubris. hubris was the most common character flaw for Greek heroes. They'd think too highly of themselves, try to be gods, and end up getting smacked down for their sins. So far, we've only seen one major subversion of this, which was Perseus, who basically didn't have any flaws. But Heracles yeah. is also a subversion because his biggest flaw is wrath. How unexpectedly modern, right? Well, Heracles begins his life, as so many huh. heroes do, with Zeus spotting a fine-looking lady. This one oh, by God, the name God damn it, Zeus. Damn it. Name of Alcmene. Zeus does his thing and shapeshift. Hey there, pretty lady. Who is my wife? Hi, weirdo. I'm married. Into her husband, Amphitryon, and gets her pregnant. The very same night, her actual. Well, hello, pretty lady, who is also my wife. You are weird today. Oh, did Zeus. Zeus, Zeus shifted, didn't he? Tool husband scoots on by and does the same thing. That's right. Today's first plot twist is that Heracles had a twin. So Hera is lit. Heracles had a. Who what? Zeus! It's cool! You didn't know it was me. That actually makes it less cool. Yeah, Zeus, that makes it really uncool, dude. Zeus! Fucking calm down, you horn dog. Live it as she always is when Zeus pulls this kind of nonsense. But this time she. I feel like she honestly should expect it. Oh, yeah, and then Hera brings in the snake. Extra miffed and starts trying to take as many petty revenges on the baby as she can possibly think of. Priority one is screwing Heracles out of his birthright. So the night Heracles and his. Tw oh, Zeus, I have a great idea. Oh no, Greek gods never have good ideas. It always ends up bad for the humans. When they're slated to be born, Hera convinces Zeus to make the next descendant of Perseus to be born the king. Now Alcmene is one of- Hold on, Perseus, Andromeda, Electrian. One of Perseus' descendants, meaning Heracles is slated to be the next descendant of Perseus, so Zeus is totally okay with the idea, whereupon Hera zips down and kidnaps Aletheia, the goddess of childbirth, to keep Heracles and his brother right where they are until the day is done. Then she causes Heracles' cousin Eurystheus to be born prematurely, so he gets to be the king instead. Fortunately, Alcmena gets to give birth eventually, because one of her servants tricks Aletheia into bailing, whereupon Hera turns the servant into a weasel as revenge. A lot just happened, and I'm not sure what exactly happened, but a lot happened. Uh, I tried to follow it. I'm a little confused. I'm just going to assume Greek gods fucking things up for humans. Not going to go well for Heracles. Heracles is getting screwed out of his, I guess, what he is owed you know, as part of his inheritance. Family still keeps her around, though, which is nice. Anyway, Alcmene is acutely aware of the fact that the baby is already a problem for her and will probably only cause more problems later on, so she kicks him out, whereupon Athena scoops him up and ferries him over to Hera, telling her that someone left this poor baby just lying around, whereupon Hera pities the little guy and nurses him a bit. Unfortunately, Heracles is a toothy baby and boob noms a little too hard. Hera chucks him because, ow, but the- She just yeets the baby for nibbling a little too hard? Goddamn. Damage is done, because her magic milk has given him superpowers, making him crazy strong. Athena uh -oh. takes the little guy back to his parents, and they raise him pretty uneventfully. Except for that one time with the snakes. So oh yeah, the snakes. You know, don't forget the snakes. Prior to the 12 tasks thing, Heracles' story is a little muddled, which is pretty common for culture heroes. They tend to accumulate stories over time. The main yeah. highlight is one time- Alright, from the top, and this time don't let your thick fingers trip you up. Time teenage Heracles gets pissy because he's having trouble learning to play the lyre, and ends up killing his teacher as a result. What the fuck? Greeks, stop jumping to murder. Stop it. No. Bad Greece.
Don't kill things right off the bat. You wait two days and then you kill it. Result. Then a while later, he ends up in Thebes, where he courts and marries Megara, the daughter of King Creon. They have two beautiful children, whereupon Hera drives Heracles crazy and he kills all three of them. He gets. Oh, yeah, he did that. I completely forgot he did that. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bad. That, that, that happened. His brain back is immediately stricken with grief and goes to consult the Oracle. Go work for your asshole cousin! Oracle about what he should do to atone. The Oracle, guided by Hera, tells him he needs to atone for his crimes by serving his cousin, King Eurystheus, for ten years and doing whatever he tells him ten to. Years. This is all part of her cunning plan to- Ha, ah, he's so dead. You know, this never works, right? Stop breaking the fourth wall! To accidentally make Heracles the most famous and revered Greek hero ever because nobody ever just kills anybody in these stories. So this- Excuse me. Heracles just killed his teacher. You just said that a minute ago, so yes, people do just kill each other in these stories. They just don't kill the main guy. This leads to the famous 12 That's labors, or armor. rather, 10 plus a couple extra. Initially, Eurystheus gives him 10 labors, but two of them get discounted for shenanigans. Number <laughs> one is- All right, cousin, for your first task as my servant, go kill a monster. Like a specific monster, or, you know, just- a little thing that's, you know, a Saturday night. Is ...to kill the Nemean lion, known for being immune to- Oh, that monster. That do be a pretty nasty monster. ...on mortal weapons, and having the general disposition of a chainsaw strapped to a ceiling fan. Heracles- Chainsaw strapped to- Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, what's next? <laughs> ...ends up strangling it and skinning it with one of its own claws. Mission- With its own claw? With its own claw. I knew the strangling bit. I forgot that he skinned it with his own fucking claw. That's fucked up. Number two is killing the Lernian Hydra, for which Heracles conscripts his half nephew and sometimes lover, Iolus, for moral support. That sometimes lover? That happened a lot in ancient Greece, don't question it. Anyway. I mean, yeah. The Greeks like to bang. But, um. Your own nephew? That was pretty fucking weird, dude. Boy, after learning that cutting off the heads just causes more heads to grow back, Iola suggests using fire to burn the neck stumps, which works really well. Before they leave... <laughs> Smart boy. This will never come back to bite me. Heracles takes some poisonous hydro blood and coats his arrows with it. Because why not, right? Yeah. With that out of the way, Heracles returns home. But Eurystheus is all, Hey, you got help for that one, dude. It doesn't count. <laughs> and adds another trial for later. So trial number three is to capture, alive this time, the Serenian Hind, a deer sacred to Artemis. Eurystheus is a cunning plan. Uh oh, that's not gonna go over well. Artemis probably won't like that. Plan here is to have Heracles offend Artemis and get her to kill him. But as soon as Heracles explains what's up with his trials and such, Artemis is like, "Yeah, dude, go for it." Just what a bro, Artemis. Shout out to you, homie. Bring her back when you're done. So Heracles brings the hind to Eurystheus, but Eurystheus is too slow to actually catch it, and it zorps back to Artemis. No problem. Mission accomplished. Mission four is to capture the. Alrighty then, let's go fight a pig. Oh, I know the this story. Boar, but Heracles gets distracted. Oh, that's not good. Let's go get smashed with a man horse. Sounds about right. Along the way and parties it up with a centaur friend for a while instead. Unfortunately, centaur. Hey man, dilute that. I'll dilute you. Centaurs apparently don't know that Greek wine needs to be watered down before it's drinkable, so they all get super drunk and then start trying to pick fights. Heracles drives him off with his poison arrows, but his centaur buddy accidentally drops one on his foot and dies. Well, no, not his centaur buddy. That was kind of pointless. Anyway, yeah. after that fiasco, Heracles- You know how momentum works? Yes. Excellent start. Please visits the immortal centaur Chiron for advice, who tells him that the boar is impossible to stop while charging, so he needs to drive him into the snow to immobilize him and then carry him off. So Heracles does and brings the boar back to Eurystheus, who immediately freaks out and makes him release it back into the wild. Mission number five is to clean the- Okay, go clean King I- I- fuck it. Stables of King Augeus, which are Augeus. filthy. So Heracles first gets the guy to promise him 10% of his prized cattle if he manages to pull it off, then diverts two rivers through the stables and cleans them out super efficiently, surprisingly not demolishing the building in the process. What's that building made out of? How could it withstand two, two rivers? I feel like I shouldn't even question these Greek myths at this point. But Augeus is a sore loser and refuses to pay up, so Heracles and Augeus' son Phileas take him to court, whereupon he <laughs> sidesteps all that legal nonsense by banishing them both. Because oh, sounds about right. He's the king. Because he is the king. And then you were... That's two times in one video, Red, where we have literally said the same thing seconds apart. This is getting freaky. This is getting really freaky. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting worried.
that I'm turning. Oh boy. Chrysus refuses to credit the trial because Heracles did it for pay, even though he didn't get paid. Heracles gets pretty pissed and kicks Augeus out of the kingdom and makes his son Phileas the king. Then takes oh. Yeah, okay, just to educate yourself, that sounds about right. Takes his cows and goes home. Mission number six is to drive out the Stymphalian birds from the swamp they live in, which he does with a little divine help. Athena has Hephaestus make him a special rattle to frighten the birds into the air, whereupon Heracles is free to shoot them down. Trial seven is to capture the Cretan Ooh. bull, mostly known for being the father of the Minotaur. Ew. So Heracles wants- <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? Down. Trial seven is to capture Ooh. the Cretan bull, mostly known for being the father of the Minotaur. Ew. So Heracles- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty gross. Heracles wanders into Crete and asks Minos- uh, can I take your cow in law? Oh, excuse me? I feel like we missed a few steps. How is he related to the cow? Just don't go in the basement. Junior's cranky. If he can take the no, bull, which Minos right. is fine with, since that stupid bull has done nothing but wreck stuff ever since he got there. So Heracles picks him up and brings him back, whereupon- I love the cow's face. <laughs> I just love the work on the eyes there. The bull breaks loose and wanders around Marathon for a while before dropping out of the story completely. Trial 8 involves capturing the mares of Diomedes, which is complicated by the fact that Ring. The mares mostly eat people, and they're very hard to control. Heracles ends up isolating them on an island he dug out for just that purpose, then kills Diomedes and feeds him to the horses to calm them down. They so hold on, he... He dug... He, he, he made his own island by digging this passage out. And then he just yeets someone into the, into the ocean or sea. And then he just picks them up and takes them back across to the... This chills them out enough that it's easy for him to bring them back. Trial number nine is to go retrieve the girdle of Hippolytia. Hippol Hippolyta. Is this just a transparent attempt to get me laid, dude? Yes. Yes, it is. To retrieve the girdle of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons. Fortunately, Heracles being Heracles, this isn't too hard, as Hippolyta takes one look at him and quite willingly drops her clothes. Oh. That happened fast. However, Hera decides this was too easy and spreads a rumor among- Everyone, Heracles is totally kidnapping our queen. Oh my god, we instantly believe you. Let's go murder him, because we are Greek and the first thing we think of is murder. Among the Amazons that Heracles intends to kidnap their queen. They don't pile on him and- Guys, let me compare abs with this guy in private. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking love yo. And in the chaos, Heracles kills Apollo to Huh? Hold on, what? It's cool, pretty sure I have to be alive to marry Theseus later anyway. He, he gets her killed and then she just comes back? For some reason, and bails with the girdle. Mission 10 is to- I'd like to see you seduce your way out of this one. Garion? Doesn't really seem like my type. Steal the cattle of Garion. Unfortunately, he lives on the other side of a stupid hot desert, and Heracles gets so grumpy and overheated that he fires an arrow at the sun. Fortunately, Helios finds this charming rather than intimidating, and loans Heracles his sun chariot to get him there faster. So Heracles- <laughs> I love how chill all the gods are, except for Hera in this- in this- oh, and Zeus being- Zeus being his normal slutty self. But uh, all the other gods are seeming really chill. Love it. Touches down on Arethia, whereupon he's attacked by Orthus, the two-headed dog, oh. who he kills. Then every oh. He just fucking boops it on the snoot, and it go... Dead? Tian, the cattle herd, hears the commotion and comes by to help, and gets killed too. Fine. Oh. Yeah, also just booped that human on a snoot, and he died. Garion comes out in full battle armor, and is, you guessed it, killed. So Heracles... Yeah, that's a Tuesday night. No, Tuesday evening, not night. Too easy. He scoots back with the Doesn't cattle take after night. taking an extra year to round them all up because Hera thought it'd be funny to send a gadfly to spook him. Eurystheus then sacrifices the cattle to Hera, which does nothing to soothe her nerves. Trial number 11. Go get some garden apples from the garden of the, Hes of the Hesperides. I don't know where that is. Well, that sounds like a you problem, my dude. You got it. ...is to retrieve apples from the garden of the Hesperides, which is complicated somewhat by the fact that the location of the garden is a secret. So oh. Heracles ran... As, as all things are, you know, they're just casually a secure. I yield! I yield! Dude, you're strangling a mermaid man, dude? Wrestles the location out of Nereus, the old man of the sea, and heads off. Poor old man! Heracles, what the fuck, dude? You're bullying an old dude. On the way, he That's runs cool. into this dude, Antaeus, who's in- Let us wrestle a little man! Aw, sweet. Immortal, but only so long as he's touching the earth. He challenges Heracles to a wrestling match, and when Heracles realizes he can't beat him by pinning him, he just picks him up and crushes him. Anyway, so Heracles- Yo, what the fuck? It was just supposed to be an arm wrestling match, not a fucking... 
Not a fucking fight to the death. Heracles reaches the Garden of the Hesperides, but he can't get the apples because the tree is guarded by this big dragony thing named Ladon. Fortunately, nearby is the Titan Atlas, busily holding up the sky. So Heracles is like, hey buddy, hey! Yeah, wanna Die. do me a solid and grab me some apples? And Atlas is like, sure dude, but you'll need to carry this. Sky ain't gonna hold itself up, you know? So Heracles tags in and holds up the sky while Atlas scoots over to the tree and picks some apples. So Heracles is like, yo, thanks man! Hey, can you tag back in? And Atlas is like, you know, actually, how about you just tell me where to take these? and I deliver your apples for you. So Heracles is like, oh man, that, that just sounds great, but you know, my cape's getting really uncomfortable. Could you like tag in for a second so I can adjust it and then we'll swap back out? And Atlas is like, what could go wrong? And takes back the sky, at which point Heracles obviously bails. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, cousin, for your final task, I'm sending you straight to Hades. Sounds festive. Yeah, Hades is probably gonna be chill. Twelfth and final labor, Eurystheus straight up tells Heracles to go to hell and kidnap Kerberos. So Heracles Oh, you're gonna kidnap Hades' doggo. Never kidnap a man's doggo, because that means he's gonna go John Wick on you. Heracles traipses down to Hades, whereupon he bumps into Theseus and Pyrrhus. Yo, a little help? Turns out Hubris sucks. Theseus and Pyrrhus were punished by Hades for attempting to kidnap Persephone and have her marry Pyrrhus. Theseus was just helping. Pyrrhus still fused to their chairs. They ask him for help, so Heracles frees Theseus, but when he tries for Pyrrhus, there's a huge... Uh-oh. Earthquake, which he takes as a sign that he should probably leave him there. So Heracles heads deeper into the underworld and encounters eating? Kerberos, along with Hades, who asks him what exactly he thinks he's doing. So Heracles tells him he's. I need to take your dog. Okay, um, no weapons, and I'll allow you to try. He's here to kidnap his dog, and Hades tells him, okay, but he can't use any weapons to do it, which Heracles is fine with because, again, wrestling. So he bear hugs one of Kerberos's heads until he gives in, and I guess Hades objects or something because most tellings of the story involve Heracles shooting him for some reason. So Heracles. Shooting him? Stop being so aggressive, Greece. God. He drags Kerberos out to Eurystheus, who is unsurprisingly so terrified that he demands Heracles return him immediately. So Heracles carries Kerberos. So pretty much he just took Kerberos for a fucking a nice little walk. Hades, my man, I'm done with your dog. <laughs> for seven and Hades, I love it back to Hades and goes on his merry way, finally free of his service to Eurystheus. Now, Heracles' story doesn't end with his labors. He has all kind of hijinks, frankly, too many to list here. A lot yeah. of those hijinks were romantic. He was married four times, his third wife being the one to kill him. And one oh. noteworthy thing is that Heracles, as a symbol of pure masculinity for Greece, had a lot of dude lovers too. Because what's manlier than two men? A Damn fucking right. Apparently in Plutarch's time, it was customary for male couples to worship at the tomb of Iolus, who was widely considered to be Heracles' primary boyfriend, which is kind of sweet. But anyway, I kind of glossed over the fact that he dies somewhere along the line, so let's talk about that. Yeah, Heracles is did. on marriage number three, and his wife is this lady, Deonara. For those of you who know Greek, her name is a spoiler, as it translates to husband destroyer. So oh. Pretty fucked up. So one day, this centaur Nessus decides to kidnap her, which Heracles- Yo, that's fucked up. Heracles obviously objects to. He shoots yeah. the centaur with one of his old hydro blood arrows, and the poison centaur tells Deonara that his blood can totally make a potion to keep her husband faithful should she ever need such a thing. He persuades her to bottle some of his blood and then dies. This becomes relevant several years later when Heracles falls in love with this other lady, Iole. Dan Heracles. God damn it. You're just like your dad. Ugh. Deonara remembers the love potion thing, takes some of the blood, and smears it on the inside of one of Heracles' tunics. Whereupon, because it's full of hydrovenom and very, very poisonous, the blood melts into Heracles' body and seriously f***s him up. He's too tough for it to kill him, but it really hurts. Man, are you sure about this? It's this, it's this or never going shirtless again. So he kind of decides to die anyway. Heracles throws himself into a funeral pyre and burns away his mortal half, becoming a pure god and ascending to Olympus in the process. Oh. Whereupon he marries Hebe, the goddess of youth. Philos oh! Upgrades, people, upgrades. Thetis, the guy who lit the pyre, gets gifted Heracles' poison arrows and later uses them to kill Paris in the Trojan War. So oh! Upgrades, people, upgrades. So I guess some good came of all this. Hercules, hero of some. <clears throat> One of Her Heracles' adventures I didn't discuss here is the Gigant of Herbaba. A battle between the Olympians and the Giants. Apparently, there was a prophecy that the Giants couldn't be killed by the gods alone. And they needed the help of a mortal. Heracles technically Long qualified. Story, the Hercules. description of the gods fighting is pretty crazy too. Poseidon throws an island at a guy, you know, just as you do. That's a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Athena tears off this one guy's skin. That's a Tuesday afternoon. Dionysus smacks a dude with his ivy staff. Ah, you know, Monday night. Hermes borrows Hades' helm of invisibility. Ah, I do that every Thursday morning. 
Right. Even the fates get in on the action and club a couple giants. Ah, you know, Friday noon. Fighting with All right. Yeah. Is there anything more to it except for her lovely singing? Just her lovely singing. Um, this was miscellaneous myths, Heracles or Hercules, however you want to say it. I consider them pretty much interchangeable, even though I guess she did say that there is a difference between the two of them. I'm going to continue using them interchangeably just because I can. <laughs> and because that I'm just so used to calling him Hercules, I don't think I could get used to just saying Heracles. And Her the way it's pronounced Heracles doesn't roll off the tongue as much as Hercules to me. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that. That's going to be my excuse. I hope you guys enjoyed This Was Myth Myth Miscellaneous Myths by Overly Sarcastic Productions. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.